Question number 260. Right, so for this function, it's starting just before negative 2, and it comes up to negative 1, 1. So I'll put that point in, and I'll just show the function coming up. Right, and then the exponential curve continues. So it keeps coming up, coming up, and it's getting closer to the y-axis, but it doesn't actually touch it. Okay, now from the other end, it's coming up to this point, 1, 1. So it cuts through the negative 1, comes up here, and again it's getting closer and closer, but not touching. Right, so we've got a solid dot here, and then the function starts again from here, and goes up to 2, 3, but the function keeps going from here, and it's a horizontal line. Okay, so the domain, so the domain is like the range, but for the x direction, so the domain here for the function is anywhere that x exists. So you can see that x exists when it's less than negative 1. So this is part A. When x is less than negative 1, sorry, and then it exists from here to here. So for x, greater than negative 1, doesn't include it, and less than 0. And then again, it exists for x greater than 0, but this one here continues because it's still defined at x equals 1, it's still defined at x equals 2, so it keeps going. All right, so you can either write it as 0 less than x, or you can write it as x greater than 0. Part B. Give the values of x for when the function is discontinuous. Okay, so that's all these points where we have to move our pen off the page. So there's one there, so we've got x equals negative 1. There's another one at x equals 0 we have to move off the page to come back down to here and then there's another one here we have to lift the pen off the page so at x equals 1 another one at x equals 2 and then the rest of it is continuous let's see okay so when is the function equal to 1 so now we're looking at this one line we're seeing, all right, there's nothing down here, nothing down here. That point is not included. So it's for x greater than or equal to 2. So for the rest of this function, the function value is 1. Part D. Oh, I skipped one. Okay. So this is part D, sorry. Part C, limit. X is going to negative 1 of the function. So when X is going to negative 1 from this end, the function's going to 1. From this end, the function's going to 1. So it equals 1. Part E, x is going to 1.5, so that's in here, 1.5. So the function value, it's a bit unclear from this one, but the function value is actually just halfway in between, so it's 2.5. It's halfway between the 2 and the 3 right there 
Right, for what values of x does it not have a limit? So there's a limit there, there's no limit here. So when x equals 0, there's no limit. Here's another point where there's no limit, so that's when x equals 1. There again, there's another gap there. So we've got x equals 2. And then the rest of this function exists, so the limit exists as well.